Hello friends, welcome back to OK Azure. In this video, we'll make use of Azure CLI to create a virtual machine in the cloud. OK, so first let's see the steps required to create a virtual machine. First of all, we need to create a resource group. Resource group is a logical container that will keep all your cloud resources. Then we need to create a VM virtual machine then we need to open port 3389 which we need to RDP the machine like if this particular port is blocked 3389 is not open then we won't be able to RDP the machine then we'll go and open the port number 8080 if you guys are planning to make your machine as a server then you need to have port number 8080 open then only you can make HTTP as calls to your server to your virtual machine and then we'll log into the new machine after that by the end of this video we'll clean up all the resources okay now so basically when we create a virtual machine that we are going to see in this video we need to pass these many parameters to create a virtual machine location name resource group image vm size user admin username and password and a network security group rule basically we need to define okay so now let's go and open the command prompt i hope you guys can see here now i'll just type something as a login so this is the command which will allow me to access my azure cloud account okay now this is asking me to log into the Azure portal. So I'll just put my ID and password that I've used to set up my account. I hope this is the ID, username, and then I have to enter my password. you have logged in now let's find all the subscriptions to which you have access now you see it's giving a message that i have enabled multi-factor authentication so if you guys do not have mfa enabled you will directly see your subscription and your account details but for me i have enabled mfa on my account so i have to do the login one more time so i just need to follow the command which is here as a login dash dash tenant and then i have to pass the id so this is my subscription id i'll just copy this one from here and i'll paste it here enter okay so this will send me a text message on my phone number last four digit of my phone i have to enter here MFA is like multi-factor authentication in which you have to verify yourself twice. I just have to put the OTP. Verify. It says you have logged in. Now let's go back to the Azure CLI. Now here you can see, right? It says my cloud name. Here I have my subscription. It says free trial and so here is again my tenant id and here is my username to access my cloud right so now i have enabled like now i i am into my azure cloud i have logged in now i can do whatever i want to do so okay now to create a virtual machine we'll follow these steps whatever we have mentioned here right well first of all we need to have a resource group so we'll just first we'll go and create a resource group so the command to create a resource group is az group you need to pass the group name so i'll just call it as a group name i'll name as ok as your rz ok as your resource group is my resource group name and i still need to pass the location so either i can use dash l or i can use that double dash and then right so the command to create a resource group is az group sorry i have to write here create create and then name of my resource group 
okay and then we have to mention the location let me just go and hit the enter hit enter okay it says that everything is good so now we have our group ready in case if you want to make sure whether you have or not so what you can do is you can just go and verify as a group list dash o table so this command will list all the resources all the resource group which you have in your cloud account or under your subscription now the next step is to create a virtual machine to create a vm to supply the location so first i'll write the command here as a vm create now i need to pass the location so i'll just I'll keep the location i'll choose as east us need to give a vm a name so i'll just call it as ok as your vm and i have to choose my resource group name so resource group is my i'll keep same okay as your rz image is basically image is like your operating system that you want to install on your windows machine so i'll keep i'll call i'll call it as windows 16 data center i hope this is the right name vm size so dash dash size so i'll just go and choose standard d a r d standard d4 version 3 i hope this is the correct one let me just verify one okay now we need to pass the size is done we need to pass the admin username so the tag is dash dash admin dash user name hopefully this is the one and i have to give a user account like my admin role so i'll call it as user is uh, i'll call it as as your user and i have to pass the admin password so that i can access my vm using that password so password i'll put as let me just make it big so that you guys can see so password i'm gonna put as test password one so basically if you see here i have used uppercase lowercase and one numeric value which is a mandate so basically you need to follow three classes at least and then I have to define the NSG rule, network security rule. So this is says like I need to enable RDP so that we can connect this machine, right? I hope let's go and verify the command once. It says AZVM create VM location, then name, virtual machine name, then group, image, then we have size, then admin user admin user uh, password and then ns0 okay i think it's good let's hit enter let's see so it says it's executing the command okay so now you can see that our vm is ready we'll just go and verify so again i'm just going to make use of same command that i've used earlier to verify the resource group az vm list dash o table so list me all the virtual machines which i have in my account or under my subscription in the tabular format the output should be in a tabular format so now here you can see that i have our virtual machine named as ok as your vm and here is the resource group right and this is the location so basically we are good here now we need to open the port 3389 first so let me just go and run the command here to open the port so the command is az vm then open port right? after that i have to pass the first group name the resource group which is okay as your rz vm name so my virtual machine name is as you can see here okay as your vm so i'll just type as it is okay as your vm and after that i have to pass the the port number so the syntax to pass the port number is dash dash port 80 sorry so first we need to port the open the port 3389 so i'll pass that one here 
So the syntax is as add vm open port dash z is my resource group dash n is my virtual machine name that we created just now and this is the port that we want to open dash s 3389 okay let's see how it goes so it's executing the command okay it's good so the priority is 900 other port so i'm just going to type the same command as it vm open dash port if you want you can just pass the port here as well like just after the open port command right then you type open dash port and then you can pass the the port number that you want to open so i just call it i just want to open port number 80 and then i have to pass again my resource group which is okay as your rz and i have to pass the virtual machine name which is okay as your vm so here okay so basically i forgot to put double dash here so the command this is how it, how the command looks like as a vm open port here is my port number that i want to open resource group vm name and priority it's executing the command okay so it says it's done now we have the port 80 open the priority is 1110 right now we'll do what we need like that we need to rdp the machine but to rdp to access your virtual machine you need to have the public ip address available to you right so we'll just go and fetch the public ip public ip address of, of our virtual machine so the command is is it then vm virtual machine show dash d then here i have to pass uh, group resource group so again i'll just type the name as your rz and after that i'll pass my virtual machine name so that is okay as your vm i hope you guys can make out right when i'm calling g's resource group so we have rz in the end and is for virtual machine so we have vm in the end just to make the difference right these two are two different things one is the resource group and another one is a virtual machine right and i have to pass the command that we want to query the output we are looking for public ips dash o and let's just give me the tabular format let's see how it works. let me just go and fix this one first this i should be capital one so yeah So if you see this TSV, right? Earlier I was using table format, and I, this time I passed TSV is like tab separated values. So here is our public IP address. Now I can make use of this IP address to access the virtual machine. So what I will do is I'll simply go and uh, open the Windows, and I will type mstsc. Here I'll pass the IP address of our virtual machine that I fetched from here. Click on connect. So here I have to give the admin username and password that we created so i'll the user id was as your user and if you guys remember the password was test password one let's click on ok so now you can see that i'm able to access the newly created virtual machine i'm going in so now you can see here we have our brand new virtual machine that we created just now no and if you guys go here then you will see like exact similar so this looks like a brand new a computer brand new machine actually we have now you can make use of this machine as a regular machine as a new just like your laptop or system or you can install ias like your web server here and then you can convert this machine into a server then to the azure portal and then we'll see whether we have the vm in the azure portal created or not so what i will do is i'll simply go and log in here portal dot azure uh, portal dot azure dot com i want to see the newly created vm here on my subscription so i have already logged in if i go to the resource group 
so if you guys remember the resource group now name was ok azure rz that you can see if i click on this one i should see a vm called ok azure vm it's here now if you guys want you can verify the ip address if you guys remember let me open my command this terminal it says ending with 179 that you can match with this here it is right these steps we first created a resource group then a virtual machine then we open the port 339 and so this is not port 88 it's basically 80 you are done with your task whatever you want to do it's always better to clean up the resources else you will be charged right so what i will do is i'll simply go and delete the resource group so first of all i'll let me just close the vm done now i'll simply go and type the command to clean up the resource so the command is az uh, group i'll just delete the entire resource group delete group dash sorry name my resource group name is ok azure r rz i'll hit enter so okay this is guy is asking for me to confirmation so i'll enter y and hit enter now it will take some time when i say some time it may take a minute actually to delete all the resources so just wait for this to happen and then we'll verify whether we have the virtual machine exist or not okay so it took me a minute to delete all the resources now let's go and verify let's first see that whether we have this particular vm available or not i'll just do the rdp again mstsc 1179 hit enter as i have deleted the resources so it should not be available actually it should give me an error so just wait okay it says remote desktop cannot connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons so basically it doesn't exist actually right so it will never connect i'll close this one now let's go to the azure portal and let's verify whether we have the resource group available or no so if you see now we don't have the resource group called ok azure rz and nothing is there no virtual machine right so here if i just refresh it should go away from here also it's gone right if I go here resource group I don't see anything so it's it is a really good practice to clean up the resources once you are done with the usage just go and delete the resource thank you for watching and uh, please do subscribe my channel bye